Hi, Hi everybody. Uh, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> um, earlier, <laughs> earlier we were recording it and I oh, said our channel, channel um, but it is my channel. But these two are very special guests, very special, like very, you know, like um, when there's like a TV show and they have a really, really famous actor and it always is like all the shit actors, shit actors, shit actors, shit actors. And Ashley. Yeah. Well, and yeah. Sebastian. Featuring. I like a featuring role. Yeah. So anyway, um, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're also going to uh, make comment on some of the most important people to this channel as well. Um, and they are as follows. Am I going first? Yeah. yeah. God. B. Per Orkerman. Zoo. Rosa Parker. Lana. Charles Churchill. Odena Hunter. No, you're in, oh, you are and let's hear it for Fun Chin. Oh, Bethany. Ward. Andrew, Is it Bethany Ward? But, oh, maybe. No, they're not related. Um, Andrew Burnett, we love you. Yeah. Mara Napierala. Summer. John Keaton, you rock. Yeah. And Jeremy Roberts, you're a nice guy. Jessica Collins. Michael Stanton, Jones. Jess Bolton. Not related to Jessica Collins. <laughs> Abir Nasser Alcateri. Oh. Stacey Ross. Miranda. <laughs> Etta M. Esquidge. Tony Kamas. Anthony A. Cheryl Coffin. Hida O'Rodan. Yeah, that's a nice guy you can I think. Thank you. Vicky Ngoi. Dima Lechinsky. Brian e. Rayburn. And it's Christine. Donna. <laughs> and Christine Carter. Yeah! Shout out to all of you. We've never done that before. Yeah. But thank you for being our patrons. Thank you very much. Uh, we really appreciate it. And um, yeah, please, if you want to be added to the list, then you know where to go yeah and we invest all of that money in world peace and things of that nature it's really good and coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> we really liked episode 3 um yeah it's a personal favourite of mine yeah we Loved really it. liked it we really yeah. liked it it was really fun and you're going to um, watch Die Hard aren't you I'm going to yeah. watch Die Hard thank you for the the, 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 the tips the, the suggestions <laughs> um yeah yeah so this episode's You've got, got a really long hair over your have eye have I oh, yeah. oh my god oh Oh, oh, ah. how big is it? Out. Yeah, go on. Ah, got it. Oh my god, we're selling that on Patreon for hundred dollars. <laughs> Look at that little bit in it. What That's a that? hairspray. Oh, don't get. Right. Um, this episode's called Inca Mummy Girl. So I wonder what it could be about. Mm. Mummies. Doesn't sound promising. Any any of these yeah, titles. It sounds like it sounds like this a, sounds like another paper thin plot <laughs> where someone where someone has wheel. had an idea <laughs> and, and they've been unable to climb down from what they were convinced was a great concept. But I I get the feeling, I just get the feeling that it's this gonna is be going one to be them. another one where like the puppet show, the um, teacher's pet, yeah, like. The one episode two with the, the, with the, with the, the construction, some, some assembly required. Some assembly required, which is possibly, and I know I might have given the puppet show fewer points. Actually, I think that that episode is the worst episode I've seen on reflection because it was just so empty. Ugh. This one is going to be bad, but probably funny. <laughs> well, well, let's, let's see. see. Right, guys. Stranger in my house for two weeks. I think that the exchange student is going to be an Inca mommy. Oh. I do, with beautiful melting of two cultures. <laughs> what <are> is <those> walking? <laughs> 100% Swedish, 100% gorgeous, 100% staying at my house. So, how's your 50% Swedish? 50% good. I don't know. I like. 100% gorgeous. Oh, that's a I was just told that guy. <laughs> you just don't like him because of that time he beat you up every day for five years. <laughs> that time. I'm irrational that way. If you can sacrifice the Ooh. to begin. Inca princess. Inca exhibit. princess. That's some bad signage as well. To the mountain god Sabankaya, an offering buried alive. Oh, good girl. 
this dark remain there. Just like a good Check it only by a nice seal place. placed there as a warning. <laughs> She's got good ceramics. Is he gonna steal that ceramic plate? Because if he is, then you saw that coming. He looks a little bit like a lesbian. Oh my god. You no. got it! Oh no. Whoa. Do you know what though? <laughs> oh my god! Do you remember when we were <laughs> Do you remember when we were talking about at the end of the last season and what was going to happen and I said it's like if someone goes to like some kind of like art gallery and they break something and it all kicks off again Wow What else do you predict? I predict I'm not going to like the rest of the episode Is that a, a mole or does that, is that a spot that always keeps coming back for her? On her chin, it, it just turns up all the time. I'm never very bad makeup. I've never noticed it. Yeah, I noticed it in the episode, in the first season a lot. But now we're watching this great HD version, we can see it all. <laughs> Five years of Rada. Yeah. <laughs> that was mine. We once, a joke? We, we once watched this show where this okay. wait just came in and said, Here you go, man, walks down and goes, Three years at run for that. <laughs> Surely a staff member would have noticed the broken plate and raised the alarm. Sexy. Oh. Buffy's face. <laughs> Overacting. She's seen a lot in her life. So yeah. many years, or rather. <laughs> it's a word. <laughs> yeah. And let's see, we've got milk and uh, almond milk. Right. Some butter. You knew she was coming. Yeah. You could have bought something in for her. Yes. Well, that works so well because I talk much. <laughs> 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 She looks like Eva Longoria from uh, Desperate Hell Housewives. Yeah. What kind of high schooler is that? <laughs> they don't even speak American. Do you know how many girls you could have? You need guitar, Oz. It's cunts. I don't think you could have that many girls. You're just impressed by any pretty girl like Why? Because he's not very attractive. That's Seth Green. That's Seth Green! Why well, he couldn't have many girls. This hat. It's a celebration of cultures. It's blossom. It is blossom. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking that it's very, very blossom. The variants are cool. Oh. Well, that's not annoying at all. Oh, no. Poor empanada. She was just about <laughs> to have a nice time. Mm -hmm. Enchilada. <laughs> 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 oh, we're funny. Oh, well, this is nice, isn't it? Well, this bit be on Patreon. Yeah. Good, because... <laughs> I'm just going to talk directly to them. You can if you want. Well, do you know what, so far, like, I don't... I quite like it as a little bit of a romp. No. You don't like it? No. But it's going nowhere, that's what I mean. There's no... What's yeah. happening? Your device is available, internet bandwidth is too low. Yeah. So what does um, that mean? So my issue with this kind of episode mm -hmm. um, is that I know full well, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure, that at the end of the episode, everything that happened in this episode will have had no importance to anything in the future. And therefore, no. I find it kind of... Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, it kind of has no, like... Uh, and so I kind of switch off a little bit because I'm kind of like, mm, mm. I, I, I know, I can tell it's not going to be an amazing one-off on its own uh -huh. episode uh -huh. and it's not going to have any substance for the future. So yeah. therefore I'm kind of like, I don't really care. It's inconsequential. Yeah, that's a good word. Yeah. However, what you don't know yet is, um, is I think slightly, it's probably five episodes later and it's um, Buffy does Machu Picchu <laughs> and she goes <laughs> on a field trip <laughs> and she has a really nice time. <laughs> Um, I'm going to call you the spoiler now. She flies into <laughs> she, she flies into Arequipa, and then she gets a mule, and then she does a little Andean trek, and then um, lo and behold, she manages to glue it all back together, um, and then she becomes like Princess of the Andes. It's None of really that's going to happen, is it? You're not just Sweden. You don't know that. 
But I, I think there there are things that are important because you can see the relationships. Between yeah, but I've people. seen these relationships before. I've seen Xander and Willow and, and Buffy and what they... I know what they all feel about each other. I know that Willow will get jealous if he goes with a girl. Like, those things have, those things have been established many times. That's <coughs> nothing new, though. <coughs> As I was saying... Don't finish. Oh, thank you very much. No, no, no. Don't give me that. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Uh, um, well, just give it a go. Give it a chance. Or I can just get on with my Good girl. Caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> you three. Stole the sale. He really oversold that role. <laughs> No, he is at Rada. So good. No, he is at Rada. Stephen Seagal turns up. Yeah. <laughs> Where's she going? Everyone Hi. she knows is there. Where did she get all these nice clothes from? Like, I don't know. She's got a high-waisted jean and a, and a tousled hair. I do not want that small life. Yeah, surely she come out of the mummy Where naked. Is him? Yeah. You know what, Willow? You're my best friend. I would never end a sentence like that. That's so weird Hi. to say that. Well, because you never know if a girl's going to say yes or if she's going to laugh in your face and polite you're still beating heart and crush It's normally that thing. It, doesn't, it never quite works for me, that, because he's, he's, too handsome. he's clearly very good looking. He reminds me of, like, Joey. Chandler and Ross all in one person yeah. he, and he's funny and there's no reason that he should be like a side character in that sense all they needed to do was put a pair of glasses on him oh my something. god what's she going to do in this so called restroom <laughs> Oh my god, they put blusher on her. Oh my god, look how radiant she is. She's overdone it though. Really weird. It's weird, and now it looks like she's from India. Is <laughs> <laughs> it? They browned her up. She's really browned bit. up, I know. Bloody hell. <laughs> she's gone Bollywood! What the fuck is this? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bit rude going into her suitcase without permission. Yeah, but I mean, you put a lock on a dead body in your suitcase, wouldn't you? Well, you fucking country white trash. <laughs> 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 you know, I take it over to the Well, where did that come from? Where did you She's not there. So unnecessary. <laughs> so <there's laughs> the dungarees is hardly like. This episode is all over the place. Oh, yes. Bump harder, don't you? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh
Uh, this music. I'm so glad I was not in an American high school. He knew it. Yeah, but he wouldn't say the right word. You don't like Seth Green. No, but I, I think most people wouldn't. They're wrong. Hang on, you've just missed a panpipe. <laughs> she looks really old there, though. She looks like Paula Abdul when she was an American Idol. <laughs> She's Inca Mummy Girl. You can be Wembley Daddy Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh my god! Kid, call the police! <laughs> She's just eating though, she needs to top up a lot. It's like a phone with low battery. Sander picked the wrong girl again, oh. didn't he? Oh! Well then, aren't you through to drink? This could delay the fun, this country? This is literally racist. This is. I was... It's so bad! Oh my god! Oh my god, look at the nails. Rough. Why didn't she just do it to Xander? Oh, because she, she actually loves him. Yeah. I am an Inca mummy. Uh oh. Oh, Sabrina. Who is that girl? Where's her mother? She said something about the seal. <laughs> Oh. I'll say one thing for you, Rankin Mummies. You're not kissing tell. <laughs> that didn't even make sense. Oh. Let her go. Well, that was quick. And there's. Was there a face load? <laughs> oh, I'm Penalda. Fucking hell. Is that it? Where was the big foot? She just ran out of time. At least you got to see it, that like you had hope it would get better. I knew it was I mean, I, I, it's been really fun. What? <laughs> it's just ridiculous, isn't it? And then they'll just go home. I just... About things we've gone through. <laughs> that was hurting me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Pan pipes! No, I don't even think we need to talk about it because I think what I said at the beginning is actually true. I, that's it. My synopsis is 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 what it was what at was the your beginning. Synopsis? Well, what happened? I can't remember. Like a paper thin plot where nothing happens. Um, I have to say though, I actually quite enjoyed viewing because it was kind of silly. At least it was entertaining for me. Em Empanada, she was a great actress. Um, the slightly dodgy cultural reference points really enjoyed those. I think for me, um, what like is going on? Everyone, you know, all of the, all of the, you know, the the, the people on YouTube and Patreon um, have all been like, they're really like, just make sure you get through season one. Make sure you get through season one. Mm -hmm. That's really that's the tough bit to get through. Yeah. But I'm I'm much more forgiving of the throwaway episodes in season one than I am oh, of yeah, the ones in yeah. season two because I'm like. That, I can't I can't forgive that episode because I'm like to me that it's just another play on previous episodes whereas in the first season that was the first time we'd seen them do like a monster of the week and yeah. stuff like that whereas here it was just like I kn I thought they might go down an interesting route when oh, really? she came out as being like a chosen one yeah, back yeah. in Oh, yes, yeah, and I yeah. was like, oh, maybe I'm yeah, wrong. Maybe there is going to be yeah, some relevance to this, yeah. and it's going to be like, oh, she was another chosen one, and no. she, there's some kind of something there yeah, that's really, yeah. really. They could have really gone for something interesting there. Yeah, well, they could have gone for but, a ceramic bowl instead of just a plate, <laughs> couldn't they? True, but I, paper thin, <laughs> paper thin. Bowls are less thin than plates. Um, oh, I will say, I do agree with the YouTubers, though. I I think there's a point very soon where. Um, it stops being like this. And I'm not excited by the title of episode 5. Yeah, it's not that point. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like it's going to be another one. I re well, I'll say this, I really want to watch 3 today. Because episode 6 is better, okay, cool. Yeah, um, okay. But, but yeah, okay. Because in the same way with the first 3, when she was bad, some was be required and school hard, I really want to get to school hard. Yeah, yeah. I liked episode one and episode three though. So like, I liked. Yeah. So I was hoping that I was gonna like the odd numbers. 
but I'm yeah. concerned about episode five, I've got to say, <laughs> just from the title. <laughs> For me, re-watching that, I mean, it's just a really bad episode. I wasn't looking forward to it. I was also gutted that in the terms of timings, we have to start this okay. particular viewing with that because it's just so boring. I mean, the title was obvious as well. It's yeah. just everything about it. Like, you can tell it's going to be Literal. a shit episode from the title. Yeah. Can, generally. What I would say, though, is that the it's not the worst because at least... It, because it was frothy enough and there were enough silly, like, stupid things. It, it's not good at all, but, like, the pan pipes, that was quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Joyce... Joyce being a shady mum, that was she quite fun. Uh, look, I'm not saying this is a good episode, but at least um, it rode a level of froth, which I find more bearable than when it's complete dirge and turgid. Also, that must be about the tenth kid from their school to die now, and no one seems bothered. I think you all. have to accept that in their world, That's just it's normal. just how it is. Yeah, I agree okay. with you. I mean, but... Um, Oh, and the other thing I like, yeah. sorry, it's just when, so the, 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 other, the only good thing in that episode really is Willow's realisation that she just needs to give it up. Mm. So that happened. I don't think she will just give it up. Uh, well, no, because the writers went and consulted and she'll go back to that next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, see, this is one of the things that is quite different for me uh, for Buffy and Doctor Who. You know, we talked about the fact that Doctor Who has Monster of the Week episodes yeah. and stuff. So one of the things that, that Doctor Who benefits from that Buffy doesn't get yeah. is mm. that, one, you can kill people off and you don't have any plot holes like oh, the same school just lost someone last week um, yeah. because they're always in a different location or a different time zone or a different mm, whatever. Yeah. And the second benefit is that you're in a different location or a different time zone, so it's interesting. So you get to the new place and you get 10, 15 minutes of exploration of this new world that you're in. Yeah. Whereas here it's like, we're back in the same school, yeah. with the same people, and we know that these five people aren't going to die because they never do. Yeah. So there's no threat there at all. Mm. Um and and so episodes like this just don't work because there's no threat there's no there's no fear there's the only thing that sometimes works is the banter and they didn't even really have that much banter this episode either yeah it felt very desolate it just felt like going through the motions giles looked bored i think the actors looked bored yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. actually all of them they were just kind of like oh it's another one of this kind of episode yeah yeah and they should always avoid uh, whoever does the prosthetics and the makeup, they should really fire that person because, like you know, with the reanimation. So having two I rea- mind it so two much reanimation episodes one. in such a short space of time, like one well, next to each other, is yeah. very, 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 very lazy. They could have thought about the order of that as well. Yeah, and just putting um an a, like a very odd ink and background to it. I think um Emp- I think Empanada I liked Gutierrez. It. That's not that's not a I think name. I liked it less than the previous one though, because at least the previous one had like a big climax with like the fire and well, yeah, all the people trying that? to Not not the previous one, sorry, I mean episode two. Some assembly. Um yeah. Um I think I like this less because this the I mean, she just ran out of time and suddenly she was a mummy again and died. Like and her body fell apart. It was Yeah. No no one did anything to resolve that. Yeah. It was like somebody's first episode, like so, like someone's like graduated from like a writing class that they'd be doing over three weekends, and and they've got they've got a really good idea, uh, and they think it's really original. No, but they they're really proud of it. Their mum has told them that they're a really talented writer, for instance, um, and they've gone, oh, do you know what? I'm going to yeah. just submit this essay, and it's going to go really well. And then actually, like they think they're going to get an A out of it, but the teacher gives them a C plus. At best, at best. At best, yeah. Because at least they finished it. Yeah, exactly. So whoever wrote they, they it... They didn't really finish it with a very good ending, but they got everyone walking out. <laughs> any, <laughs> any ending which resolves a storyline in, in between 30 and 46 seconds, I'm all for. Suddenly that she just uh, becomes a pile of dust. <laughs> they go, so good! And then they all walk out together. And they all just slowly walk out. And, and then they had the nice little scene between Buffy and Xander, which they always have one of those as well. That's one of those things, again, it's quite repetitive. The final, ep- the final scene is almost always them walking around the grounds of the school having a chat about whatever issue came up this week. It's a bit like the Golden Girls. 
like the <laughs> end of every episode of the Golden Girls, whatever <laughs> two of them fell out, which was yeah. always a random two yeah. of them will have fallen out. Yeah. Well, there'll be a scene at the end where they resolve yeah. it and they go, oh, but we love each other really. Yeah. We're best and, it, friends. and it's like on Sailor Moon as well, at the end of the episode. <laughs> Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon says because then and then like in case you hadn't clocked the lesson like very handily she gives you like tips and she like she helps you like oh they um, tell you what she, yeah she gives <laughs> you some to, kind of moral, like moral of the story yeah you get a, basically you get a PSHE lesson from Sailor Moon at wow, the end which is free. usually like don't be fat do your homework be a good friend don't stand out too much like they're all, yeah. all, all, all like the golden girls. Yeah, yeah evidence. It's always like you know, uh, uh, sort of evidence that's contrary to the episode. So it doesn't really make any sense. I'm not sure we always need that lesson told to us though. They could just they could have ended that episode with them walking out, and it would have been fine. Wow. <laughs> I mean, not fine. <laughs> right. What Bye we, then. <laughs> what do we score it? Um, I've got my number in my head. I know. I've got my number in my head. So I'm not going to be swayed. I'm not going to be swayed. No, right. should so, I tell you what mine is? I, I feel he's going to be swayed. No, I'm not. I'm gonna, I, so, the, I'm going to give it... Five. And the reason I'm giving it five is I don't hate it as much as I hated that fucking other reanimation one. <laughs> Even though it had a fire and things of that nature, it was that was torturous to watch. This one at least was silly. And I everybody, I like a panpipe. So on that basis, <laughs> and I've been to the Andes as well, so I do... There was, I a lot more, there was a lot more charisma carpenter in that ever episode, though. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Don't I'm, care! I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it two. And <laughs> that's my lowest ever. That made me act... If I'd seen that first, I wouldn't watch this show. I think uh, it was a boring show. I was... I, I had the number three in my head, so I'm going with three. Stop I was tempted point. to go for two, but I didn't yeah. want to go too low. Um... But now I'm kind of wish I'd gone for two, but I'm going for three. So five, three, and two. That's ten. That's our lowest ten. ever score. But, can, I, but the, the thing I really loved about it is when suddenly whoever was directing it forgot that she was meant to be from Peru and made it from Kolkata. <laughs> <laughs> Kolkata. Yeah. Or Bangalore. Calcutta. I don't know. Yeah. Some sub some subcontinental. Kolkata. Um, don't, don't do funny accent. No, it wasn't. It we've, was, had a, was we've had enough of that. It when, 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 Sven, when Sven turned up, trying to be Swedish for two seconds. <laughs> Fuck's sake, what was that about? No. So, yeah. Yeah, not good. Sorry, guys. That was our least favourite episode of all time. It's one of my personal favourites now. <laughs> Just to be contrary. <laughs> Right, so uh, join us again <laughs> next week when we'll be finding out about what Lizard Boy has to tell Reptile us. Boy. That's what I said. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Your teeth look really glowing white. Oh, look, that's true. Oh that lovely God. dark t-shirt you're wearing. Yeah, as well. you're really good. What do I look You like? don't look like an Inca mommy girl, that's for sure. You look like a Wembley <laughs> daddy. <laughs> Wembley daddy. Bye, everyone.